Hi and welcome to a quick tutorial on Corel Painter 11. Here we're just going to explain to you the basic introduction of our work playlist so that way we can get familiar with what we're doing and actually get to work. So real quick, here's your property bars. Just like Photoshop, it does the same thing. It works just as well. Um, here is the toolbox. <clears throat> Pretty much as I select a tool, you'll notice that the property bar changes to pretty much adjust to the tool that I am using, giving me more options and allowing me to manipulate my tool, as you can see. Um, just like Photoshop, our toolbox is very similar, um, not fully like Photoshop's toolbar, but it has some of the same tools that we're accustomed to seeing. Here's your brush, pretty much here's your um, layer adjuster, here's your um, rectangular selection, your magic wand, your crop tool, your selection adjuster, your pen tool, again, your rectangular shape, your text tool. This tool right here is your shape selection. As you can see, you got your cut, your pen to add um, points, to take away points, and to manipulate points of the pen. Um, just like pretty much your basic Photoshop. Here you have your dodge tool. Also in there you have your, um, how we call, your <clears throat> burn tool, I'm sorry. Um, right next to it, you have your divine tool proportion, which is a little different. It's just, you know, a tool for your proportions on your art. Um, I believe the new CS5 Illustrator has something similar to this. Um, right below, you have your cloner. Here's your eraser, your paint bucket, your eyedropper or your dropper, um, your magnifying, your hand tool. There are your grabber, how you want to call it. And these are your color blocks. Um, main color and your additional color do not confuse these with your foreground and background these do work independently where you can choose the colors separately and they will not affect each other unless you actually switch them by hitting the divider so if you select this back let's say your additional color and you select a new color to it but the main color is brown you will continue to paint in brown even though the back um, the additional color in the back is selected the reason why for is because the only way you could actually paint with the color in the back is by actually hitting the divider and switching it to them being becoming a main color so always remember when painting the main color is your main color source the back box is your additional color and will not be used even if you select it because it is not set as your main so always remember to switch those to choose to use the that additional color Right under here, we have some more selections. Here's your paper tool or your paper selector. This actually gives you selections on your papers, um, textures. Um, obviously, it's not letting me select it because I don't have a canvas open. So let's go ahead and hit Control New. And here's my canvas um, <clears throat> sizing, just like um, Photoshop, very similar. Let's just keep everything okay for the sake of the tutorial. And now if I select this, you'll notice I can open it up. Now when you open it up, um, always remember you're opening the canvas with your basic texture. Here you can change the texture. Now remember when you change the texture, your brush will actually give you the effect depending on the texture of the paper. This is one of the beauties of Corel Painter that your brush actually takes the effect of the canvas unlike every other software so always keep that in mind when using the canvas and your brush try to select something that is actually compatible so you can get that nice effect that you're looking for um, let's carry on um, your grading is actually right here um, it's not up here where your other tools like you are normally used to your gradients are actually here and as you can see you have tons of selection to work with um, here, um, if you notice, it's zooming in and out, and that's what by the way I'm doing this, it's not with the control plus, control minus, even though you can still use it. But here, um, also, you can use your scroll on your mouse to actually zoom in and zoom out. Um, over here, you have your toggle tracing paper. Yes, this is tracing paper that you can actually use when having an image. Um, by selecting that, you will put a tracing paper over your image and allowing you to actually only work on the tracing paper without ruining the image. Um, <clears throat> here we have your brushes here you have your brush variant that gives you all different tips and styles of your brush here's your color palette this is your hue ring and here's your saturation triangle 
um also you have again this side you also can have your color pa um, boxes like you had over here on your toolbox this little device right here looks like a clone tool it's pretty much like like a clone tool like i said before but this is a clone color this actually assists you if you have an image to clone the color on the image so you could still hit this you will get an eyedropper select the color on the image and you will get the color you're looking for right here in your palettes to use on your painting right under it you have your sliders your color sliders there's three of them these are your rgbs you can actually manipulate these to actually select your color in case you like to do it manually also you have a mixer here you can mix your colors i notice you have some little color boxes you can choose a color and let's say like the apply color to it and you can apply the color to one of these the colors already being added here and if you notice you can select it there and then use this to mix the color a little more and get another color you want so this is basically for those who like to mix and match their own colors or custom make the colors on like if you would in a real life canvas or with real acrylic paint oil painting mixing it works the same way this is your color mixer um right under it we have our layers and just like photoshop it works exactly the same uh, very self-explanatory here's your add a new one here's your dynamics pretty much this will be your effects um right next to it you have your layers command um if you click on it you see it says on group on group and so on your watercolor you select this to do when you're working with watercolor marks or you're working with a brush and you want to add water to it because it is available here it is great and it gives you an excellent effect if you want to work with ink you can use this type of layer and it's great for working with an ink canvas um, another thing is great about the layers palette here is you don't have to drag over to the trash can you can just hit delete and hit delete and it automatically will delete the layer that you're working with your channels are right under it and just like photoshop it works exactly the same now that is a quick view of your Corel Painter canvases.